Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon today is New Year's Eve so happy 2022 if you haven't already set your plans we're going to talk about setting your plans the easiest way the simplest way to set up your plans how to create a plan for 2022 for success what are the things that you need to be doing to have success in 2022 imagine that 2022 I, I posted something not too long ago about how 2022 is the same as saying 2020 too <laughs> right it's also to like 2020 so let's hope that's not real and that's not true and that 2022 can be a great year we're going to get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so 2022 how do you plan it for success I was actually looking right now I just did a Google search right on how to create a plan of course it comes up with a whole bunch of different ideas we're probably going to look at a few of these things and I also have a setup created myself a little document here to kind of talk about a little bit before we get into actually creating your plan I'm going to be creating my own plan or at least uh, the beginning of it because creating a plan isn't something that takes five minutes right it does take a little while but before we get into that I want to remind you that if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis388.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because it's going I'm going to like as you as well if you're hearing you don't know but I'm sharing my screen right now and I will be doing that throughout the episode all right so first before we talk about how to what you know what's the best way to plan out 2022 for success let's talk about what do I mean or what is meant by plans and goals and all that so first of all what is a plan right a plan is something where you set out your goals and you define the steps to get there and you take daily actions right that's a plan a plan is basically you know what do you do to get from a to b right and the thing about a plan is that you need to have a goal which is the b part right where you're going to right so what is it that you're trying to actually actually achieve right what is your goal for this plan like what does a b c d e look like to get to z which would be your and goal right and then when we talk about goals okay what what are goals right you might be thinking well I'm not exactly sure how to describe a goal but a goal is just an an outcome you want it it can be anything at all it can be uh, in your uh, personal and your personal life your business life your your health and your in your income it can be in your family relationships it, it can be about anything that you choose and like I'm giving examples here right like things you want to achieve or maybe an amount of money that you want to make per month per year per day a feeling in your relationship you know a level in your relationship a, a weight that you want to be at or maybe just your inches your waist inches right um uh, how much time do you want to be spending with your family right do you want it to be a couple hours a day do you want it to be a whole day every single week do you want it to be you know a week every single month how much time do you want to spend with your family could be a goal right and places you want to visit is another example or maybe you know the kind of house or the kind of car all those material things as well can be considered goals and the thing is that a goal without a plan is really really hard to achieve and that's why we talk about planning and that's why I'm talking about planning right so we're going to talk about what is a plan but before I kind of go into talking about my plan let's just take a look at some of these um, examples of what comes up when you say how to create a plan when you look up online the first one that shows up I don't know why I guess it's you know how SEO works right the first one is this one with these images here if I look at it it says make sure your goals are smart right there's a that actually smr smart has a um, a meaning right the s stands for something the m stands for something the a stand and if I go to this I, I imagine they're going to talk about it what do they mean by smrt be specific be measurable be attainable be relevant 
and set a time right a goal should be smart so let's actually put that in my little notes here right okay so let's say say your whoops <laughs> that's funny your goals should be s m a r t now there's another one uh where they put another s at the end and things like that but anyways so s for is it simple uh specific specific right specific uh m is for measurable measurable and we're going to look at, at that as an example right a equals attainable right uh r is relevant relevant we're going to kind of talk about these things because I, I I've been obviously learning about all these things but I haven't been as good as I should be in terms of setting my own goals and my own plans right so but I'm I've, I've learned lots of this because that comes in lots of different books and things like that and then time right time bound right time bound <laughs> so what does that all mean so when we talk about having a specific this the, your goal should be specific we're talking about you know a specific amount like when I talk about things you want to achieve when I talk about an amount of money per month or per day be specific I want to make you know a thousand dollars a day I want to make you know ten thousand two hundred and fifty a month right I want to make one million two hundred and thirty three thousand a year right be specific a, a dollar amount if you're going to talk about money a feeling in your relationship be specific I I feel content I feel happy every day I feel um a, you know a, a grateful to be in the relationship I'm in I'm, I'm happy uh, th that probably is a little harder to measure but still if you are able to identify your feelings yourself you should be able to make that specific right a weight you want to be at well that's pretty specific right 190 pounds or 222 pounds or or whatever it is right a specific weight <laughs> how much time you want to spend with your family well again that's the same thing I want to spend one hour a day or I want to spend two hours every three days right so which means you know six hours a week or something or five hours a week right um places you want a vacation at specific places right Aruba um uh, South Keys in Florida no, 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 no. Rome Italy Rome is that in Italy? I don't know <laughs> but anyways Rome or Paris right specific places and that's what specific means right specific now measurable measurable what do we mean by measurable measurable we want to be able to identify whether we're at that specific goal right when we talk like for money or weight um, amount of time you want to be able to measure that you want to be able to say I achieved you know 50 percent 90 percent 120 percent of my goal right if your goal is a certain dollar amount well you can you know how much you're making you can measure that and then you can compare it so it's because you want to be able to compare with them right that's measurable attainable we're talking about make it realistic like I don't don't say that your goal is going to is going to be making a million a day you know uh because right now you're making nothing how can you possibly think I mean it's not let's be let's be honest it's not impossible but at the same time make it so that it's actually something you can believe in that you can attain that you can believe that you can attain now there's talk of stretching a little bit and that kind of stuff too right where you want to be a little bit more past what you think is really attainable that's separate from this I'm just talking about making it something that you believe you can attain that you believe you can reach like if you're at 250 pounds and you want to be 120 pounds obviously that probably doesn't make sense but I mean that might be like well that's that's not really realistically attainable if you're at 250 maybe you should say 230 right you lose you lose uh, 20 pounds or maybe 220 right that's you make it more attainable that's what attainable is relevant is relevant to where you're actually trying to uh, go to like I mean how can I what kind of what example can I give for relevant um um I don't know if I would say 
path things places you want to be I I can't really think of maybe let's take a look at what they say about being relevant they say your goals should fit within your ultimate plans in life okay yeah I guess that kind of makes sense so that would be like you know if you um want to I can't even think of I mean in the end I want to have I would rather have this house all renovated for example right in my case so why would I make a goal of having another house if my end you know you know my end goal is rather keep this house and make it renovated <laughs> that would be an un, non-relevant goal right and time time bound that means the goal should be time bound so time specifics you know within the next six months uh on a, before this specific date the give it a time that's what a goal is all right so that's what goals your goals should be smart now once you have your goals then you that's when you can start to set a plan you can say well okay let's say my goal is um well let's say in my case like what are my goals what are my goals right my goals let's say number one I want to uh quit my job right let's say that's my goal quitting my job being at home my own boss right uh being my own boss right let's say that's my goal well when I look at I have to look at how much income do I need for that so I mean quitting my job might not be the goal right that that's the end result that I, that's actually a great example of being relevant right if I want to be able to quit my job I need to make a certain amount of money because I need to be able to pay the bills um, and if I quit my job that income is going to stop so I have to have at least enough income to cover that probably plus more right so you know let's say that you're making a hundred thousand a year and you want to quit your job then you might want to you might say that you need to be making two hundred thousand a year to be able to quit your job right so that's relevant your goal isn't to quit your job your goal is really real goal is make make a salary times two whoops times times two per year right so that would be your real goal so making your same salary is that how you spell salary I don't think so salary salary times two per year right so that'd be your real goal and then then you have now you have a goal that's measurable right it's specific I mean you know how much you make a year it's measurable you can actually measure how much you're making compared to what your goal is it's attainable well maybe it's not attainable maybe this has to be you know your first year maybe you think maybe you need to be making half of your salary in your first year right maybe this year so maybe we just say okay make salary times two okay so not uh, so in next five years let's say well I actually don't want to say that because I personally I want I know it's possible but there needs to be certain things that happen and that's kind of what I mean it's possible to make my salary times two I know because because I see others making more and in, in that right so I'm not actually going to do that but in your case maybe you don't believe it so you would say it in in certain number of years which would mean that this year you're going to have to make x amount which could be you know could be could also be the salary divided by two right salary divided by two or salary divided by three right whatever you feel comfortable with whatever you think is attainable with your current level of knowledge with your current uh, skill set with your current ways of making money online right <coughs> relevant well this is terribly relevant because the goal the real goal I want is to quit my job right so making a salary of x is going to allow me to quit my job which makes it completely relevant right now time bound that means per like by the end of the year that this is how much I want to have made by the end of the year right so let's just say uh, make x dollars by end of December 2022 right so I'm going to have to put some actual numbers there for my own goal I'm not putting them here because you know uh, just it, you know how much I specifically make and all that is all kind of private 
but still you can do something like that and then that could be your number goal number two goal <laughs> so how can I you know uh, let's just say one of the other things too is when they talk about building a plan they talk about the four or five areas in your life right so let's just talk about actually before we even talk about that let's what are the areas you need a goal for right what are the areas you need a goal for so number one is um well relationship relationships number two is health number three is wealth that's kind of the same as the um what did they call it the the areas of of marketing right number four is your job slash work right and number five is recreation right so goals and and if you if you set a goal for each of those five things you'll be in a really great place if you can actually set a goal for those so let's say um you know let's say you look at those five things and you decide okay I'm gonna have a goal for this I'm gonna have a goal for that right and you just decide what is the goal for those things maybe you look at how where you are right now in those areas and you tell yourself okay where do I want to be by the end of the year in that area right and that kind of lets you it kind of lets you put together what is your goal right what is your goal for that particular area so for me I actually have okay let's just go back here that's the number that would be my number four um number one number two number three is wealth um have 40k in bank let's say for example in savings in bank or cryptos and maybe that's not I don't know how's that possible right number five vacation for two for four weeks in the year I mean I don't know if that's even going to be an option right now with COVID and everything else right but that would be kind of what I want and and you could vacation in your you know in your um your backyard well I, when I say backyard I mean you know in your direct in your close proximity in your own state in your own province right you could do that you don't have to go to places like Aruba or, or you know exotic <laughs> places like Peru or or Africa <laughs> you know Australia those those places that are you know in your bucket list right that might not be this year right you might want to have maybe I just say vacation two weeks in the year right because I typically don't vacation <laughs> so maybe that's a good for me to have as a goal right uh, number one relationships is um can well that this is a hard one relationships for me it's hard to measure because I'm not very emotional or I can't measure feelings right um but I mean if I want it to be smart if I want it to be a smart goal right <laughs> <laughs> I want to be specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound let's get that bound out of there time based or time bound right um what can I say about relationship that would be specific measurable maybe I should say you know talk to my daughters more often now that's not <laughs> that's not the specific measurable right maybe it has to be like you know talk to my daughters mm, let's say at least two times a month whoops two times a month because right now sometimes I'll, I'll go by a whole month without even talking to them right which is not I'm not talking about my younger daughters I'm talking about my older daughters let me say I say older daughters at least two times a month right so that becomes measurable because I can say I talk to them like the month can go by and I can be like oh geez I haven't talked to them yet I can actually measure that this month I haven't talked to them I can even look on my phone to see you know when I call whether I call them or not 
that kind of stuff so I can actually make that a goal right that's a goal how do we and uh okay and then number two is health is a uh, workout for 15 minutes three times a week okay at least this right now I haven't been working out for quite a while I used to work out for like almost an hour every like three to five times a week then I kind of stopped that about six or about a was almost a year ago now so that would be a good way for me to do that for 15 minutes and that becomes that's measurable 15 minutes three times a week that's attainable it's relevant because everybody has to be healthy and it's specific right okay so let's say I have these goals those are my five goals in the five areas right so now after you have your goal this is where you set a plan now this is a great example right here of how to do it because I was actually going to say start with the end in mind whenever you're trying to put your plan together start with the end in mind which is what they're saying here work backwards right uh, they're saying here for example if your goal is to make ten thousand dollars a month within six months then look at okay ten thousand a month within six months that means after six months I want to be making ten thousand a month that means after three months I want to be making five thousand after you know two months two thousand after you know etc right you can kind of kind of lay it out like this right and then it becomes measurable as you go because you can say you know let's say after the first month you want to have made a thousand well you can measure whether you made a thousand that month right it's it's easy and then it also allows you to kind of know how to grow how to scale what are the things you need to learn and that's the thing what needs to happen to reach your goals right what do you need to happen what are the things you need to learn what are the actions you need to take that's kind of how <laughs> it works and then these are the actions required to reach your goal and then put your actions into a schedule and then follow through right so actually take action make sure that you're doing that things that you have them on a schedule make it a daily thing that's the most important thing now this is this is a great little uh, overview here I'll probably I should probably take this and put it right into my uh, right into my uh, little uh, document here so example example from there right <coughs> hmm. all right so then we have that here let's uh, do that I don't need let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see it all there we go okay so all right so now uh, I can make it smaller so we can see more of it okay so I mean that's really all it is it's you you know you define your goal what are goals you got to define your goals so you define your goals um so what are my goals you got to define your goals right these are kind of my goals right now you have to set a plan for it now create a plan create whoops create a plan for each goal okay so what's a plan right um do, do I did I define that up here what's a plan okay yeah so we talk about the plan take daily actions define the steps to get there once you have your goals then you can kind of do that right you can say okay so plan number one number one or what's my plan there so check uh I don't know like for to talk to my daughters whoops to my daughters at least two times a month well maybe it shouldn't just be my daughters to my daughters my father and my siblings right let's say that right talk to my daughter talk to my uh family my my uh distant family more often two times a month for each person right so that means I could have a plan I could actually set a plan you know Monday Monday talk to my brother right I could say Tuesday 
Tuesday well maybe I just say Monday talk to my brother and sister right and if I don't get to talk to them on a specific Monday then I can talk to them on so every like it would be every two Mondays right every two Mondays right now I say every two Sundays talk to my two older daughters right and then I say every two Saturdays talk to my father and mother right so I could do that I could have that in my as a plan right and that becomes a plan I can even create a, a, a I can even take a calendar and write on there right and then I can kind of follow up with my phone to see if I actually did call them or not <laughs> and that's that's really that simple that's all you would do for that right number two uh work out 15 minutes three times a week two times a week right so then I would say Monday work out Wednesday Wednesday work out morning work out at lunch right I mean it could be something like that right I can just uh and then the next one would be Friday whoops Friday work out in morning let's just say I do it in the morning on Friday as well right so that's kind of how you do your plan you just put it out there and you put it on your calendar as well right okay so now number three have 40k let's say that's you know let's say I want to have 40k in savings savings right so uh, the, so transfer uh let's say we do the math right for let's say we do the math 40,000 so if I do the math right 40 40,000 divided by 12 is 3,000 so that's 3k a month or so divide that by four or 800 a week right or or 120 a day I mean that's a lot of money right and then that, that I already have a lot in my savings so it would be the difference between what I have and what I want right so let's say I have 30,000 then be a third of that if I had 20,000 be half of that etc right so that's just an example of how you might want to accomplish that right so number four is quit my job quit my job make salary salary times two per year right so what would that mean that would mean make salary uh, times two divided by 12 per month right so that would be let's just say the salary is a hundred thousand let's just say it's a hundred k 100 k times two is 200 k equals 200 k a year right let's say that that's what it is just as an example let's say I want to make my salary times two divided by 12 that would be that would be a hundred times two is 200 divided by 12 is 16 is equal to 16.6 k per month right or per day let's say per yeah per day is is per month divided by 30 let's say right or actually it's per year per year divided by 365 right that would be per day that would be uh, 200 divided by 365 is 547 so 547 per day and then per hour is per day divided by 24 right whoops so divide that by 24 and that's 22.83 an hour 
right so now you know how to measure your result if you can if you can make and the, and the thing is that for this it's typically not you don't want to look at this like this right you don't want to be doing that you want to be you want to be stretching it out over the year so that means that because <laughs> you know when you're talking about business when we're talking about business income business income is not the same as salary income right you're not going to be making a certain amount per hour and then just doing that but like 24 hours a day you're not going to be making you know you're not going to be working 24 hours a day right so the income is based on your on the scaling of your business on all sorts of different factors so you want to look at it you want to you really want to look at it but you really want to scale it scale it over time right so that could mean that could mean month one is equal to 10 well not even you know it would be like one percent of the total right and this is kind of how you do it because when we say I want to make 200,000 let's say 200,000 a year <laughs> you could say that you want to be making two hundred thousand dollars for the year for the 12 months right but you could also say that by the end and this is what I recommend right by the end of the the next 12 months I want to be making 22 dollars an hour so that means the very last day if you add up how much you made that day divide that by 24 I want it to be 22 at least in other words I want to make at least 547 dollars on the last day as long as it's growing and growing and growing every single day uh, then you can safely say that you're making two hundred thousand dollars a year if that day you made that much and then you're going to keep growing every single day after that because it'll it it is now two hundred thousand a year for example right even though you didn't make two hundred thousand that year you're still now on track to do it right so you could say month whoops month two is equal to let's say let's say we double two percent of total right let's say we double every month so one percent of total that's uh two thousand dollars is it is that what it is two hundred thousand whoops two hundred thousand times 0.01 is two thousand yeah that's right and then the second month you'll make four thousand whoops now I'm not saying this like let's just let's just do the math for fun right then a month month three okay let's just do this like this three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so let's say you double it every month that would be three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve right <coughs> you made four eight sixteen 32 and that would be it because you can't make 64 percent and then 128 percent right because it's doubling right so let's just say it's 30 let's say it's uh that would not work either so let's just say it's 30 let's just say the last few months you're making what if that wouldn't work either right because then we're at we're at a lot more than than the total right so let's just say we make this one here 17 make this 15 and 15 so 30 times 3 is 90 so that's not possible either let's say 20 20 20 30 so that's even then let's just make this 5 let's make this 10 and 10 and 15 15 20 25 25 okay let's just add those numbers up and see if it comes up to 100 I don't I don't even know so 30 plus 25 is 55 25 is another that's 80 that's way too much right so let's just do 20 I should have done that before obviously but uh if I do this 20 let's make this 15 over here too so that's that's 15 times three is, is four uh 
45 right 55 65 85 that's still too much mm, let's see let's do this mm. let's make this nine okay so let's see one plus two plus four plus five plus eight plus nine so that's 29 so let's just say I do make this three and four let's just do that five and six seven eight nine and okay so how's that look like one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine is 45 plus 10 plus 20 plus 30. wow look at that that would actually work out like this there you go so if I if I made that my plan right if I made that my plan so let's say that's four this is going to be three percent is six thousand four percent is eight thousand five percent is I guess 10 12 14 16 18 and 20,000 40,000 and 25 percent is 50,000 okay so that would be let's that would be a plan to kind of look at okay month number one I want to have made at least two thousand dollars month number two four thousand six thousand etc right how much do I want to have made in that month would bring me to at on month 12 at 50,000 would bring me to 200,000 for the year right but like I said before that doesn't have to be how you measure it the measurement has to be how you believe is attainable right it's got to be smart it's got to be attainable and if you don't believe that you can make this much as long as on the last month you made um 547 dollars so how much how would that be right let's just do that so 547 times 30 is 16,000 so if as long as you made 16,000 <coughs> on the last month that could still qualify you for making 200,000 a year if you kept it for the rest of the month because this is this is like and that could be how you measure it too you could say over here the other option is okay that's the other option uh option two option two so let's just do that option one option one total of 200 in the year right total if you want to make a total of 200,000 in a year you have to do it like this right option two is reach the 200 whoops 200 k a year on month 12 so how how does that look like right so that means that's different that means on month 12 you want to be making 12,000 well actually 12 no 16,000 16,410 right so if you made <laughs> it doesn't really matter it's not a percentage of the total 16,000 is equal to 200 whoops 200k a year 16,000 a month is equal to 200k a year so you could look at that and say okay let's say month let's say month six I want to be at half that so month six I want to be at divide that by two is eight thousand eight thousand two hundred five is 100k a year right so that's month thick month month six uh let's say at month three it'd be half of that again right month number three divide that by two again is four thousand 
4,102. Well, three, let's say that's 50k a year, right? Again, we do go back to month number. Whoops. One and two. Let's do one, one, one and two. Let's say month one. Month two would be uh, two thousand, and this would be one thousand. So that's twelve k a year. This is twenty four k a year, right? Okay. So let's just say you kind of lay it out like that. That still comes to the kind of the same result of two hundred thousand a year. The difference is with this plan here it's a lot harder to accomplish and it gives you 200,000 the first year whereas this one it it's more reasonable probably more easy easier to attain and it gives you 200,000 a year on the second year not the first year so it's really you know all how you uh, want to do it how you persist perceive it and all that so vacation for two weeks in the year that's my goal number five so number five vacation two weeks a year so that could be spend a week at camper <coughs> and not work right that could be that then it could be um take five days off over the winter to go uh, outside with kids right that could be as simple as that right that could be all that I I need to do right it doesn't have to be going away someplace and uh, even though that would be great but with the COVID right now that's probably not <laughs> that uh an option but but yeah so that's how you come up with the best plan for 2022 hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.